everyone, this is Britannia Schreiers from Disability Services at Chapman, and I'm going to show you how to use the Otter AI application. You can do this using the Otter phone app, or you can do it through an internet browser. I'm going to demonstrate using an internet browser. So first go to otter.ai and select the login button on the top right. Choose however you want to sign in. I'm going to sign in with Google. And here's what you'll see when you get logged in. So pretend the professor just started lecture. You'll click the record button in the top right, and it will begin to record the lecture as well as transcribe the words word for word on the screen, as you can see demonstrated on my screen. As the professor is talking, you can manipulate the text. So for example, if there's something that's important, you could highlight it. You could also add in comments. This is important for test. And you can also add in pictures. So for example, maybe your professor is showing a PowerPoint slide on Zoom. You can take a quick screenshot and you can add in the picture wherever you want on the transcript. So I'll highlight the word pictures select add photo, choose the screenshot I just took, and you'll see that it's going to insert it right into the transcript. Once the lecture is done, you'll click the stop recording button. The recording will be saved in the My Conversations tab over on the left. So as you can see, this one that showed up at the top is the one that I just took. After lecture, you can select the recording and you can continue to manipulate the lecture. So for example, you can continue to highlight words that are important. So let's highlight the word important. You can continue to add in comments. See page 75 in textbook. You can continue to add in pictures. So for example, if your professor is posting the PowerPoint slides to Canvas, you could take screenshots and you could add those into the transcript wherever you'd like. Add photo, select the screenshot I just took and it will add it in. You can also export the text in a couple different ways. So you can export just the text or you can export the audio. You can also give the lecture a name. So let's call this tutorial 3321. You can search using the keywords it's produced. So for example, if I select the word transcribe, it will highlight in yellow wherever that word appears in the transcript. And you can also play back the audio in real time in accordance with the text from wherever you want. So for example, maybe there's a portion of lecture that you didn't quite understand and you want to hear it again. You can select exactly where you want to pick up from and it will begin to play. Screenshot. And you can add in the picture wherever you want on the right into the transcript. Once the lecture is done, you'll click the stop. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Our email is D as in disability, S as in services at chapman.edu. Thank you.